Margaret, were you as shocked as the rest of the country when the news broke about Paul Kelly and Consola? Bernie, shocked isn't the word. I was absolutely devastated. Devastated that somebody I trusted completely could actually do this. I'm still in, I feel I'm still in a nightmare. I'm just wondering when am I going to wake up. I just cannot, cannot get it out of my head what this man has actually done. I held him in such high esteem. I just, I just can't. Had you any inkling that Paul Kelly was possibly squandering monies that were collected and uh, donated by people um, for a good for good for a good cause, console. Bernie, in relation to Galway and the areas I would know about, the money we say for Galway was lost lodged into the AIB bank here in Galway, right? Now I had no access to statements whatsoever. As far as I was aware, the money that was paying was coming out of the Galway account. Well, I had no access whatsoever to statements. I didn't know. So you didn't know how that money that was lodged in Galway would, was spent? Bernie, no. You see, when I first kind of went to console, that was part of it, was the sense that all money raised in Galway stays in Galway. Mm. All money raised in Mayo stays mm. in Mayo. The same in Limerick and at Lone. Yeah. But you, like um, the board of directors that we know now, weren't really board of directors. Uh, you didn't have access to public, uh, to uh, annual accounts or financial accounts or... Oh, no. oh no. God, Bernie, no. Absolutely yeah. nothing. I mean, we just did what we had to do here in Galway. In hindsight, mm. hindsight is a great thing. And because you trusted him, you never even stopped to question him. Bernie, mm. trust him. I trusted this man completely. What do you think is going to happen to the services now? But Bernie, in relation to Galway, I know the management and the clinical staff in Galway do, do an absolutely fantastic job. And they are helping people that are in so much pain because they've lost somebody to suicide. And I'm hoping against hope that that work will actually continue. And that work will, I have to have faith that that work will continue, otherwise the last 10 years means nothing to me. <laughs> Why did you wait until now, two weeks later, to speak out publicly? Bernie, I'm talking to you as you said yourself two weeks down the line. I am still devastated. Devastated doesn't even call it, refer to it. It's like a death, but you know something? If somebody died belonged to you, you could stand over the grave. You could cry, you could do, you could laugh. But not in this case. Not, this is worse to me than a death. I feel, oh, I'm, 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 I feel, oh Jesus, I, assaulted, assaulted? Do an interview? I wasn't capable of doing an interview. And I'm still not. And I'm still not. But with you, I just feel as comfortable with you. I wouldn't be able to talk. And I have no intention of talking to anybody else. Because mm. I'm not able. To me, it's different. It's 12 years that I worked so hard for. I acknowledge the work. Of the councillors, the friends of console, the people in that loan, people have been so good, you know. And and that I suppose that's one thing that's kept me going is 
the people, the service has to be there for the people. If not, Bernie, I might as well say goodbye. I might as well say goodbye.